One of the difficult things right now working in the, the sector, the tourism sector in which I'm involved right now is the fact that what we really, we need two different things which are sort of opposed to each other. We need the world to see us and the world has seen us, the, the extent of the tragedy and how, uh, how devastating it has been to Honduras. But we also need to save the tourism industry. And the ironic thing about it, although so much of Honduras has been destroyed in the infrastructure, the tourism attractions and actually the hotels and restaurants, that type of infrastructure, is almost completely, was almost completely untouched by the hurricane. It's all there. The beaches are still there. Uh, our, our parts of our country are pretty intact. Uh, our potential is still there. And I'd like to stress that something that we have always faced as being our mayor's strength, and that's the authenticity of our product is still there, and the spirit is there more now than it was before. If you come to Honduras and you visit Honduras, that would be a way to help our economy. We believe that tourism is destined to become probably the first sector in the economy uh, that will lead the way of reconstruction in the next five years or so. The future is, is, is upon us. It's, this has been devastating and, and, and it's, gonna be a, it's gonna be hard, really hard, but I think we can do it. And we've had, um, we can't complain about the help we've had of international countries. And I think together we'll do it. We'll rebuild this country and we'll even have a better country than the one we started with. We're going to be right back in the house. We're going to construe, we're going to build my house back because we got no place to go. Seeing these people having to dig themselves out and work hard under excruciating conditions with children running around barefooted and hungry, I got a sense that they're really strong, hard-working people and I don't see them faltering, I see them persevering, and um, I feel for them, but I think in the long run they're going to be okay because the Hondurans are really a, a strong people and they'll hold together. I just have to wonder if a lot of Americans um, could handle something like this. We've had disasters, but we're also so insulated by insurance and our federal disaster aid comes in and it seems we have a lot of uh, a lot of backup but I'm just not sure if we could recover but I have no doubt about the Hondurans because they've had to earn everything that they have and when you've lost everything that you earned you know you can always earn it again. One thing that struck me the most was the children here. Everybody was willing to help us and, and you couldn't put down a piece of equipment without all the kids uh, you know coming to help us and the families here that had very little still you know little food little water always offering to us you know wanted to make sure we had what we needed and it just made me thankful for what we have and also made me realize how how good we have it and how uh, spoiled we are as you know at home we think we have it bad sometimes when really you know people here grow up a lot faster and the children take a bigger responsibility bigger part in the uh, in the family duties and helping out and everybody here we never heard one complaint the whole time even with the house gone sitting down there digging through mud trying to find personal possessions possibly even losing some of their family everybody wanted to make sure that we were okay and just wanted to take us in and and smiles and even in the hardest times made sure that uh you know they kept their spirits very high and i feel bad for the situation now but i know the people here are going to be okay in in a strange way i think that this disaster may have brought a lot of people together. It definitely brought people from all over the world to focus on Honduras. We are young and I think that we are the ones that will have to take the future in our hands of this land that has seen us uh, grow and we're the only ones that can make this a uh, negative thing have a bit of light, you know, everything has a solution. And we are the ones that have to find a solution. It would be difficult, but just because it is difficult, we will not say, okay, we're not going to do it.